around £90 for an f1.2 lens. Yes, it's manual. Yes, it's by MCO Plus. Yes, we need to give this a closer look. Pouch, good old lens cloth, and instruction manual. I just want to confirm that closest focus on here, and that is coming out at, yep, 30 centimeters, 195 grams, so another small number here. Uh, fractionally bigger than the other lens we're looking at. Now, of course, I could have just done this side by side, but I, I think they deserve their own little attention, their own video. Same deal as with the F1.6 32mm with this interesting screw on deal here, which is fine. 90 pound lens. If you really wanted just a quick snap on, you could get one 49mm thread. The focusing feels smoother than the previous from 0.3 to infinity. The other one wasn't particularly bad focuser anyway, but this is equally smooth all the way through. Not too smooth as to fall out of place, but it gives you enough, just about enough feedback as you turn it. Maybe it could be a little bit more, but that's fine. Aperture ring, Smooth, click free, 1.2 there, round to F16 there. Not too bad, and nice bit of ridging, or whatever you want to call it, around the aperture ring, so you can get a bit of grip on it as you turn it in and out. The focusing is minor you can see there's not too much difference there i mean basically it's a nice solid feeling thing it's tiny solid built well feels like it's usable let's just get it on a camera and see how we fare How does it fare at 1.2 for video? I mean, I'm using the app right now. I think it's in focus. <laughs> I guess we'll see afterwards. With the app, you don't get the peaking as far as I can tell, but I think it's pretty good and there's a fly in here. <laughs> Let's see if we can let him out. I guess I should give you a bit of a half-time report it feels okay to shoot it, but wide open, you can see the inadequacies. I think you'll see that in the sample images too. And yeah, it's not going to be a mind-blowing uh, purchase. But there's value to it, and there's reasons why you could well find yourself buying it. Let's continue. And yeah, this bit I did at F8 just to help myself a bit. And no mic, there's a helicopter, anyway. The optics, wide open at least, are not quite there for me. But if this is your budget and you tend to lean away from wide open. I mean, if you've got a 1.2, you want to use it at 1.2, but some of you want to stop down a lot more, and that's cool, that's fine. Stopping down eliminates a lot of the issues that I had with purple fringing, minimal distortion, the minimum focus distance wasn't amazing, but the color rendering was nice. You do get some kind of weird, eerie sort of 
vibe to it that I found with Samyang, kind of an earthy feel. It's hard to describe, maybe the images reflected that, but to be fair, for the price, you're not gonna go too far wrong. If you're thinking of a, you know, the Fuji 3514 or the 35 F2, forget about it, totally different budget, totally different deal. We're not comparing apples for oranges, cars for buses. It is a budget number. If you wanna get into the 35 mil F 1.2, whatever, or just 35 mil under cheap, might, be the one for you. Now, of course, I tested the 3216 from MCO Plus, and personally, I would spend my money on that. In fact, you would almost get that for half the price of this, almost, and that one would be the choice for me out of the two. I do like the extra light that this gives, but the quality isn't quite what I want, at least compared to that other budget number, which just gives me that little bit extra with a bit better close focusing distance. That's not to knock this lens at all. MCO Plus have built a good lens and it's worth checking out. It's always good to have competition in the market, including at the budget end. We're not all gear snobs that have to spend top dollar to get the best. Some of us just wanna play. And with a lens like this, you can definitely have a bit of fun, especially if you're happy shooting manual with focus peaking, perhaps rocking the exposure compensator back, a little bit of chimping, and you can squeeze out some decent JPEGs even with a budget number like this. I'm gonna leave a link below so you can check it out online. I don't think it's available on Amazon yet. I'll put an eBay link, see what you think, but please let us know if you've used this or the Seven Artisans version which we would like to try out very, very soon. Make sure you subscribe, leave a comment below, say hi. Yeah.